To log in, enter the unique identification information. Select the desired language and then click on Log In. Once logged in, a warning window will appear. Please confirm and certify the documents as needed and click on Agree. Once back in the main menu, you can change the status by clicking on the Off Duty icon. The window Change Current Status will appear. You can select the driver's status. Do not forget to add your location and your autometer before saving the information. On the main window, select the vehicle or trailer by clicking on the icon. The Switch Equipment page will pop up. At this point, you can change the vehicle's name by clicking on the box. If you need to add a trailer, you can click on the trailer name box and then select the vehicle in the scrollable menu and click Add. To add new vehicles, tap on Manage at the bottom left of the page. A new window will appear where you can modify the details by clicking on the pencil. You can also add new vehicles by clicking on Add. When adding new vehicles, the window Create Equipment will show up. Please fill in the vehicle information before pressing on Add. In case you would like to delete a vehicle, you can click on this icon. Select the arrow at the top left of your screen to return to the main menu. Now it's time to connect to the vehicle. First, click Connect at the top right of the page, then select Manual Connection. Choose Geometris and click Next. The system will automatically start searching for the vehicle. When the vehicle appears, click on it to return to the main page. Once you start driving, the status will automatically update from on duty to driving. To complete your security rounds, select the icon below. The DVIR details window will appear. Please select the type as well as the inspector. To change vehicles, please select switch equipment and to choose the vehicle to change in the scroll menu. Once the vehicle has been updated, go to the vehicle trailer tab and select the form of vehicle or trailer you will be inspecting. Ensure that your vehicle is in service. If it's not, press yes to proceed. A list of inspection areas will then appear. Use the up or down arrows or Select any relevant cable to choose the area you wish to inspect. After selecting the state of each area, you can add comments or attach a photo if needed. Once you have completed all the areas, click Finish. A summary of your report will appear. Please scroll down to the bottom of the page to review it. Once you have verified that all details are correct, enter the autometer reading, location, and your observations and confirm the condition of satisfaction before signing. After you have signed the summary, click on View Summary at the bottom of the page. You will be asked to certify your DVIR by confirming your agreement. Once confirmed, click Yes to proceed. A PDF will then be generated automatically and you will be redirected to the DVIR details page. To check the remaining time, click on the green rectangle or go to the Cycle tab. 
Under the Options tab, you'll find all settings related to accounting management. The Recap tab provides an overview of your work week. While the Logs tab contains details of the connection sheet and the driver's log. Before disconnecting, make sure to update your status by selecting the appropriate option. At the top right of the screen, you will find the logout icon as indicated by the arrow.